Welcome to this lesson on measures of central tendency. So there are three measures of central tendency we're going to go over in this lesson, and those are mean, median, and mode. So let's go over the definition, how to find it, and how many there can be in a data set. So first of all, the mean is the average of a set of numbers. In order to find the mean, you add all the numbers, and then you divide by how many numbers there are. And a set of numbers will only have one mean. The median is the middle number in a set of ordered numbers. So to find it, you order the numbers from least to greatest, and you find the numbers in the middle. It could just be one number or it could be two numbers, depending on how many numbers you have in your data set. So a set of numbers can only have one median. Therefore, if you find two numbers in the middle, you're just going to take the average of those two numbers, and that will be your median. All right, and the last one is mode. That's the number that occurs most often in a set of numbers. So to find the mode, you're going to order the numbers from least to greatest. And then find the number that occurs most often. A set of numbers could have one mode, two modes, or no mode. Occasionally you can even have three modes or four modes, as many modes as you know the data set has. Okay, so let's go over some examples. So number one says to find the mean, median, and mode for the set of numbers. So anytime you're talking about central tendency, you want to order the numbers from least to greatest. That's going to help you. So let's do that first. So I have one, three, and I'm going to cross them off as I go to make sure that I get them all. Five, and then I have another five. Let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and sixteen. Okay, so for the mean, let's do that first. I'm going to add all those numbers together in my calculator. Okay, so add them all together. And when I added them all together, I got 75. And then you're going to divide by how many numbers there are. So let's count how many numbers there are. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to divide by 10, and remember this is for the mean. So 75 divided by 10, that is 7.5. So my mean is 7.5. All right, let's do median next. So for median, you want to find the middle number. So an easy thing to do is to take two fingers, your two index fingers, and to slowly start counting from the outside in. I'm going to highlight it here, so the two outermost, and then just keep going. Now, I have two numbers left in the middle. So if that happens, you want to find the average of those two numbers, because you can only have one median. So let's see, the average of 7 and 8, so I would add 7 plus 8, and then divide it by 2, because there's two numbers, and that would be 7.5. All right, and then my mode, that's the number or numbers that occur most frequently in the data set. And five occurs twice, so five would be my mode. All right, let's try one more. The following are test scores from Mr. Morris's third period class. Find the mean, median, and mode of the data set. So I'm going to put them in order first. So let's see, it looks like 53 is the lowest test score. Then 66, 72, and then we have another 72, 75, another 75, 78, 83, 84, 88, 98, and 100. 
always go back and count and make sure that you got all the numbers. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have them all. Let me get rid of these dots so it doesn't look like a decimal. <laughs> okay, so let's find the mean first. So I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to add all those test scores up. Go ahead and grab your calculator and add them up as I do it too. Okay, if you need more time to add in your calculator, go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so when I added all of those up, I got 944. And remember we counted 12 test scores. So I'm gonna divide by 12. And I get 78.6 repeating. So I'm just gonna round that to the tenths place, 78.7. Okay, median. So I'm gonna start on the outside. Let me erase this. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the outside. Oops, there we go. I'm just going from the out to the middle. I have two numbers in the middle again, so I need to find the average of those. So the average of 75 plus 78 divided by two, that gives me 76.5. All right, and then the mode, the number that occurs most often, most frequently, well, there's two. 72 is twice and 75 occurs twice. So both of those are my modes. Okay, let's continue on. So how do you know which measure of central tendency to use for a data set? Which one is going to be the best representation of the middle of that data set? Let's go over a, a vocab word first, an outlier. So an outlier is a data point that is very different, very far away from the other data points. So in this example, we have 7, 10, 13, 6, 229, 9, and 8. So this 229, that is an outlier. It's way bigger than the other numbers. And the outlier can affect your central number, your central tendency. So mean is probably the best for most data sets, but you don't want to use a mean if you have outliers because an outlier is going to change the mean or the average. So for example, on this data set below 1, 3, 9, 5, 7, 8, 2, and 3, I don't have any outliers, so I can use the mean. Another thing you can do is find the mean without that outlier. That's another method. All right, the median you can use when there are outliers. So with this data set, I have that 108. And all the other numbers are close to like 12 or 13. So let's, let's work this one out. So I have 11. I'm going to put my numbers in order. 13, 14, 14. 15, 17, oops, I forgot 12. Let me go back and add 12. And then 108. All right, so I'm gonna find the median and it should be around 13, 14. And look, it is 14. So that outlier is not affecting my middle. All right, and then the last one, mode is best when you have categories. So instead of numbers, if your data can be put into categories, like for example, students voting for their favorite flavor of ice cream, then the mode is gonna tell you which is the most popular. So chocolate, vanilla, vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate is the most popular. So that's the best middle or average of what the students like in an ice cream flavor. All right, so let's go ahead and complete these examples below. So determine if mean, median, or mode would best fit each data set. Okay, so number one, the height of small trees and feet. So I'm looking through these numbers. They all seem pretty close together. I don't have any crazy outliers. So mean is gonna be best for this data set because there are no outliers. 
All right, number two scores on a unit test. Let's see. They all look pretty close, 70s, 80s, 90s, except for this 127. So because you have that outlier, median is probably going to be best on this one. All right, number three, the price of milk at six different grocery stores. So all of those are around two to three bucks. That's going to be mean. Number four, favorite types of sandwiches. So these are categories instead of numbers. So that's going to be mode. Number five, places the Olympic team one. First, second, first, third. Now, these do have numbers in them, but they are still categories. If I find the average of one, two, and three, that's not going to help me any. I want to know which one occurred most frequently. That's going to be mode. All right, and then ages of students in a college art class. Mostly around 18, 19, 20, some in mid-20s, but we do have this one person who's 54. So because we have that outlier, median is going to be best for this data set. All right, you can stop the video now and complete your practice.